Yesterday was the feast of the Queenship of Mary. <clears throat> she, um, Queen of Heaven, Queen of, what else? Queen of Heaven, Queen of Earth. If Jesus is the King of Earth and Mary is his mother, then she's the Queen, Queen of the Saints. She queen of angels. Today is uh, the feast of. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to bother you there. Queen. Uh, today is the feast of Saint Rose of Lima, Spanish nobility. I think born in the Americas, born in Peru, I believe, in 1560. No, that can't be right. 1508. No, that can't be right. 1586 and died in 1621. That sounds about right. Um, she wanted to live a religious life. Her parents wanted to have uh, an arranged marriage. She um, didn't get into marriage, but she also didn't go into the religious life, although she was a, I want to say Franciscan tetieri. Um she was a mystic, a visionary. She had the invisible stigmata. i have never heard that one before. Um, she is the patron of embroidery and I want to say disfigurements uh, or against disfigurements, I don't know. Um, to make herself not attractive to suitors, she apparently put lye and, what was it, soap? Lye and salt? Something on her face, lye and something, which sounds terrible. And sort of doesn't sound like the right thing to do. Uh, maybe she felt that was the only way that she could remain um, dedicated to the religious life, even if she couldn't go into the consecrated life. Uh, I don't know, that sounds, but that's what it said. So, and she's a saint, so people smarter than I and understand and know more of the details of why that's, uh, yeah. Uh, St. Rosa Lima is patron of a lot of places, which I didn't memorize. But uh, what else? Visionary had the invisible stigmata, whatever that is. Uh, St. Rose of Lima, pray for us. Mary, queen, queen, queenship of Mary, pray for us. In a time we really need it, when our Democratic Party, which, yeah, in our Democratic Party, which actually had, I hate to put this in the same video, actually had Planned Parenthood in the, I believe the parking lot of the DNC Convention Center or the, where they were doing their convention, giving out birth control, free abortions and free vasectomies. So let me get this straight. You hate life so much that you're willing to give it free. And there it is right in your platform, a, for pro-abortion in the democratic platform. Well, euphemistically calling it women's rights or women's reproductive health. How, okay, health means you cure something of a disease or you keep it healthy. How in the world is a baby that's medically, uh, chemically killed or actually surgically killed how does that health in what world in what world in what backwards world is killing the baby called reproductive health reproduction means to reproduce health means to take presumably to care for the preservation of life whether it's curing someone with a stuffed up nose or uh, a cancer or whatever. Pregnancy is not a disease. 
It's a natural part of life. And there's no way you can, you can straight face call reproductive health killing babies. It just, it, it's like saying apples or bananas. Or it's, well, that's just off my top of my head. They're just not the same thing. No, it's not like apples and bananas. It's like, it's like saying cake is Brussels sprouts. It's, uh, yeah, it's wrong. And it's, and it's easy to see it unless you're so stubborn or so selfish or so indoctrinated or so, uh, whatever, myoptic that you don't want to see, you don't want to look at the other side. I mean, I get the other, I get the other side. Women find themselves in a situation they don't want to be in, so they, they're they willing to do anything to get out of that situation. Well, again, you probably should have thought about that when nine months earlier or three months earlier or when you and the guy were together. Now you don't want his kid. Well, then why did you want... You didn't want his kid now. Why did you want his, his self then? I mean, we, okay, we know why. But anyway, the point is, you did it, and now here it is. If I drive drunk and, and have an accident and hurt someone, I mean, I drove drunk. I knew what I was doing. I knew I shouldn't have drank, and then I knew I shouldn't drive. I did it anyway, and now here I'm stuck with the consequences. And at least with a pregnancy, the consequences, you can put the baby up for adoption. So, uh, Queen of Heaven, pray for us. Queenship of Mary, pray for us. St. Rose of Lima, pray for us. I'm trying to think of the other saints that were just recently. Okay. Uh, all the saints, let's ask all the saints to pray for conversion of the Americas and pray for the souls in purgatory.